another example here. Don't get worried about all the writing. We'll go through it from the top. Elimination method. Easy. We're getting rid of stuff. Solve. Here's a set of equations. Okay. All this stuff on the board is, I said, well, these are, these are called standard form, right? We have AX plus BY plus C equals zero. Okay? Except the C here, I've moved to the other side. Okay? Okay? No big deal. Standard form, I converted it to uh, Y uh, slope intercept form in the Y equals MX plus B. So this is what this would look like in y equals mx plus b, and this is what this one would look like in y equals mx plus b. Why did I do that? Uh, first of all, you should be very, very fast and handy at doing that with all the practice you've been doing, right? Um, I did this so that we can kind of get an idea of what the graphs will look like, okay? First of all, why don't we look at, we, we're going to want to sol uh, solve this uh, through elimination, okay? Um, a two and a three, the three and a two, there are, a 3 and a 2 are not the same, a 3 and a 2 are not the same, so as is we can't eliminate things. So I can't times this, well I could times this whole thing by 1.5, I can divide by 1.5, but that's going to get hairy, you don't want to involve decimals or fractions if you are able to do that, okay? What I'm going to do is find, because these are, are, are different numbers, I'm going to find the greatest common factor, uh, sorry, no, I'm going to find the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3, and the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6, okay? Okay, it's 6. So, I'm going to want to end up with something, I'm going to make this to 6x and convert this to 6x so that I have a 6x and a 6x, and I can subtract one from the other and eliminate it, okay? That's why. I want to eliminate it, so I need to make sure that they're the same number. How do I do that? Well, back to multiplying. We are just going to change the look of this equation by doing this. I'm going to times it by 2. 3x plus 2y. Okay. I'm using square brackets. This is 2 plus everything in the brackets. Just another way of showing it. And in order to get this one to be a 6, I'm going to apply a multiple of 3 to it. Of course, this is just changing the way that this equation will appear. This equation sign still remains true. Okay? So on a graph, this is what I want you to think about. You're either zooming into the graph or pulling out of the graph. Okay? And it'll, like, or, or you're going up or you're going down. Right? The bottom line is you're going to have like an expanded version, a contracted version, the same solution. It's just, just kind of a way to think about it. Okay? All right, let's, let's figure this out. Uh, so I, I really have here the top row, 6x plus 4y equals 24, okay, that's this top row. Second row, I have 6x plus 9y equals 13, okay. All right, ta-da, look, 6x and 6x. Now I can get rid of these things. I could subtract this one from this equation, or I could subtract this one from that equation. It's already set up this way, why don't I just do this? I'll minus this entire equation. I'll subtract it. So there's 0x. 4y minus a positive, subtract a positive 9y, that's a minus 5y. 24 minus 13 equals 11. Okay, now I'm just going to solve for y. y equals 11 over negative 5. Usually we'll just put the negative sign in the numerator though. Okay? That's what y is. It's not pretty, but that's what it is. Okay? Not always going to be a nice, easy number. All right. Now, all we have to do is solve. Did, was I even, am I on the, on the money with this one here? I made a mistake here somewhere, didn't I? Oh, here's my mistake. This should be 39. I knew somebody was, somebody's going to comment on my video and say that, hey, you screwed up, but I'm, I'm allowed to make mistakes, I'm a human being, but the key is to solve our mistakes, right? So this is what I want you to do with your notebooks, too, is you're going to find your mistakes and solve them. Nice recovery. Okay. 24 minus 39, that's minus 5y. 24 minus 39 equals minus 15. Okay, that, that probably looks a little better. It's okay to make mistakes. Just put in the time to solve it. 
Thank God. That's easier. Y equals 3. All we got to do is put that into one of the equations, one of the original equations. Or this. You'll get the same answer if you put it in a big busy one, but we want easy. Okay? So here's, I'll just pick one here. 2x plus 3y equals 13. Um, 2x plus 3 times 3 equals 13. 2x plus 9 equals 13. Minus 9 on both sides. 2x equals 4. After I divide by 2, x equals 2. There, my solution point, x equals 2, y equals 3. So there is a point on a graph like this where the line this and this collide. Okay? Over here. I should have organized my space better here. Um, so this is a negative slope line. There's a negative slope line. I'm just going to draw them indiscriminately like this. Okay? So here's, here's our first one, here's our second one. Whatever point that is, that's our solution point. This exact point right there. Okay? Thumbs up. Always, always take the time to correct your mistakes.